All right, I want to talk about an expected value question dealing with roulette. Let's read it. It says, in the game of roulette, a player can place a $9 bet on the number 26 and have a 1 over 38 probability of winning. If the metal ball lands on 26, the player gets to keep the $9 paid to play the game. And the player is awarded an additional $315. Otherwise, the player is awarded nothing and the casino takes the player's $9. What is the expected value of the game to the player? If you played the game 1,000 times, how much would you expect to lose? Okay. Notice that it's asking for the expected value of the game. It's a little bit tricky. Sometimes they ask for the expected value, sometimes expected profit. So let's think about this for a second. The value of the bet. What is the value of the bet? First of all, the bet is $9. So if you lose, you lose $9. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, if you win, so you're either going to lose or win. If you win, you're actually going to get back your $9 and the $315. However, getting back the $9, you, that was your money to start with. So you didn't really win that. So the value of this bet is only 315. So those are the two possibilities of this random variable. So the random variable equals to the value of the bet. The two outcomes are winning and losing. The probabilities are listed here. If you win, you get $315 and the probability of winning is 1 over 38. If you lose, you lose $9 and the probability is 37 over 38, right? The probabilities are given. So that's it. From there, you can find the expected value by just multiplying. You can use the formula or just do one of our stats. So you can do negative 9 times 37 over 38 plus 315 times 1 over 38 and get the answer that way. Or you can, now this seems pretty easy. It's not that much data. So if I clear this, I get negative 9, 37 divided by 38 plus 315, 1 divided by 38. So we get negative 0.474, whatever you want to round to. They round to the nearest cent. So they just put 47 cents negative, right? So that's it. That's how you find the expected value of a roulette problem.